With a long list of wine bars, rooftop restaurants, and outdoor cafes, Rome is simply an incredible place for foodies. You can start your morning with a cup of delicate cafe latte, cool yourself off in the afternoon with homemade gelato, and spend an evening over a plate of cacio e pepe. This city, without a doubt, goes beyond coffee, ice cream, and pasta. So without further ado, let's get into the top 10 restaurants in Rome and see what kind of world-class cuisine and delicacies this city of seven hills has to offer. Number 10, Hamburgeseria. It may not be something you'd expect, but we'll start this list with a place that serves American hamburgers. Conveniently located in the San Lorenzo neighborhood, this eclectic pub looks like it falls somewhere between a hipster co-working space and a cozy family restaurant. You'll find mismatched chairs, wine stock wooden shelves the second you walk past its doors. This is the kind of place that's perfect for having a brunch with a friend. The ambiance is nice and the nearby roads are not that crowded. While there are great salads and starters on the menu, the main highlights are the burgers. Each of them features five locally sourced ingredients from Danish meat to fish to fresh vegetables. Cheese and sauce are also made on site. Number nine, Da Cesare al Casaletto. With a pergola-shaped al fresco terrace and a massive dining room, Da Cesare al Casaletto is a not-so-casual neighborhood trattoria in Via del Casaletto. Overall, the space is decorated in a light and simple way. It not only creates a comfortable atmosphere for guests, but also allows them to concentrate more on their meals and have pleasant conversations. Although the restaurant is not located near the city center, you can easily reach it by taking the 8 tram. Thanks to its flavorsome offerings and familial ambiance, this place is very popular among not only passionate eaters, but also professional food writers as well. Nonetheless, you don't have to worry about what to wear because the guests are generally very low key. Number eight, Suplizio. Are you familiar with Supli? Supli is a very popular street snack in Rome and Suplizio is one of the best places to get it. This little unassuming spot is in Centro Storico, close to Piazza Navona, Pantheon, and Campo de Fiori. The most common way to enjoy Supli is to grab a glass of wine and sit on the street side table, or you can also enjoy it inside. The Supli and Suplizio comes from various versions, from Classico Supli to Amatriciana Supli to Cassio e Pepe Supli. Don't shy away from ordering more than one version because the portions are quite small. There are also light side dishes available, including croquettes, anchovy balls, and crispy cobs. To finish the meal, you must order the sweet fried cream. Number seven, the Enzo Al 29. With a unique retro pop charm and a strong sense of civility that endows it, the Enzo All 29 has always been one of Rome's most favored restaurants. It's located where the Trastevere district starts, right across from Palatine Bridge, making it a great place to relax and fill your appetite after an entire day of exploring the historic city center. Everything about the Enzo All 29 is well cared for and satisfying. On top of that, you can immediately feel that the staff here only has one goal, deliver your sensual and tasteful dishes packed with flavor. Try artichokes a la guida, which is very fresh and crunchy, or order a plate of Neapolitan-style croquettes, which will fill your mouth with cheesy goodness. Number six, Mare Nostro. Located just a few blocks away from Rome's most touristy district, Mare Nostrum is a family restaurant with hundreds of five-star reviews on travel websites, including TripAdvisor and Google Reviews. Those who've eaten here wrote that the service here is impressive and the seafood dishes are simply hard to beat. Mare Nostrum is simply in a league of its own, despite the fact that it's situated in a city that's never short on excellent seafood restaurants. Although it has a strong Sicilian background, it takes inspiration from various regions across the Mediterranean. One great example of the offerings here is Peceri Cuerza de Ma, which comes with basil pesto and Parmesan fondue. Number five, Trapezino. Have you ever imagined what if a pizza and a sandwich had a child? If you're curious about how things will turn out, then you should come to Trapezino, a humble establishment located in Piazza Trilusa, just to the south of Piazza Navona. It's gotten a lot of national and even worldwide press thanks to the creativity of its founder, Stefano Caligari. You can find Trapezino outlets throughout Rome, but the most popular one is the original Trapezino Trastevere. The crowd here is a mix between locals and international travelers. 
From the outside, it looks like a refined street food joint. Walk past its front doors and you'll be greeted by a solid marble bar along with a bunch of high top tables as well. Number four, Trattoria Penestri. Situated in Ostiense on the outskirts of the city's historic center, Trattoria Penestri is the kind of place that invites you to grab a window seat and observe the street while having a pleasant meal with your special someone. Just like the ambiance of the place, the menu has a rustic allure to it, but you can still see that every item is carefully selected and refined. The menu is inventive and it changes according to the season. Yes, you can find classic options like amatriciana and carbonara, but there are also dishes that are decidedly not Roman, such as this seared duck breast. For dessert, the chocolate mousse is definitely a must try here. It comes with pane carousel, a type of crispy Sardinian flatbread, sea salt, and rosemary. Number three, Badu. Among all the iconic and legendary eateries that make up this list, Badu is deserving of the spot in the top three. Not only is this restaurant in Pegnetto, one of the best areas of Rome to spend a fun-filled evening, but it also offers inventive Italian food at very reasonable prices, making it a worthy addition to any list of the city's great restaurants. The restaurant is hip and very cozy at the same time with its warmly lit interior and post-industrial decoration style, making it a wonderful place to spend a rainy evening with a date. If you want to be able to enjoy the view of the eclectic Pignetto Street, make sure you grab a window seat and a portion of hearty chicken curry. Number two, Ristorante Moma. Ristorante Moma is a cute bistro by day and a lively Michelin star establishment by night. It's conveniently situated in the city center. You can spend less than 10 minutes walking from Termini, the central train station, to this two-level restaurant. The first time you enter the front door, you can immediately notice a mix of fun and hospitality in the air. If you're here for breakfast or brunch, the street side tables are the ideal place to be. But if you're here for a family dinner, then you should grab a table at the L-shaped dining room on the second floor. Dining options include tasting menu sets, which come with an optional wine pairing package. The wine list here is a mix of local names and international favorites. Number one, Enoteca La Torre. Located inside Villa Laticia, a repurposed vacation home owned by Anna Fendi Venturini, and Toca La Torre is a Michelin star restaurant offering diners the opportunity to submerge themselves in a lavish dining experience, all while enjoying the beautiful setting of the iconic structure. A meal here, without a doubt, will be a memorable one for any foodies. A companion-born young chef, Domenico Style, leads the kitchen in Enoteca La Torre, he had previously worked with well-known Italian chefs like Enrico Crippa, Massimo Bottura, and Nino Di Costanza before taking on the role of head chef here. His signature meals are well-known for incorporating unusual flavors from unconventional components such as buffalo milk cheese and umbashi. The takeaway. In contrast to other large cities across the world, the food scene in Rome is well-established and has an extensive background. Despite the presence of the few young creative chefs who are attempting to break into the market, many of the greatest and most well-known restaurants in this city have been operating for more than a century, and they still use the same recipes. As you can see from the list we've shown you previously, Romans don't exactly prefer newly opened restaurants and bars. Ask the staff in your hotel about what's new in the area, and they'll most likely mention a place that opened five years ago. That's what makes Rome a great place especially for those looking for authentic flavors and recipes that are rich in history. Speaking of hotels, check out the best hotels in Rome in the video being displayed on your screen in the top right corner. See you in the next video.